Today, guys, I've got this old book. And I have this old book. Cool. <laughs> It's longer off than camera. you. Off camera. Yeah, if you flip it down like that, it's, it's off camera. It's longer than you, we can't. Look how smooth that was. Try it. Pushes my tits together. <laughs> so, do you know what's in your album? Yes. I don't know what's in mine, so I'm just have to guess. <laughs> So welcome to Telstone War Gaming, guys. Hello. As, I'm Mikey. I'm Elliot. <laughs> and as I said, I've got this book. And clearly this is the not the Blood Ravens book. I found this on the floor, so it's now ours. What are you playing if you're not playing Blood Ravens? I'm playing Dark Eldar. Drakari. 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 I want to trigger <laughs> the Eldar in the room. Yeah. So I'm using Dark Eldar today. I have lots of bikes. I have lots of uh, flying things that like... Gunboat around, <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah. What's what you, the exact noise they make? So you use space springs. Yes, yeah, so I'm using Dark Angels. Dark Angels. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely say, loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the armies, guys. Okay, guys. This is two thousand points of Deathwing that Elliot is using today. Yeah. It is made of uh, two Vanguard attachments. It is. So you're at rocking five command points. Yes. It's quite good. So if we go to this one first, yep. uh, well, which one? Who's your warlord? We've got two HQs. We've got the cha interrogated chaplain, and we've got Belial. So the warlord is going to be Belial. Okay, let's have a look at this one first. Yep. So Belial, what warlord trait is he taking? So he's got the. Um, it's, it's the one that gives him ignores wounds and six plus. Tenacious, Tenacious survivor. survivor. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So Vanguard attachment is obviously one HQ and then three elites or more. Yep. So, so this one. The Terminator Assault Squad. Okay. We've got so the Sergeant, he's got the Power Claws. Uh, lightning Claws. Lightning Claws. Yeah. There. So and two Lightning Claws, two, uh, three Thunder Hammers yeah. and Shields. Cool. Very cool. And then this one? Yeah, just normal Terminator Squad. So uh, Sergeant's got the standard loadout, so Power Sword, Storm Bolter, and then there's Assault Cannon in there. Very good, very good. Um, the others are the same, except from that one's got a Cyclone Missile Launcher. Okay, so that was got an extra, uh, extra uh, Missile Launcher, uh, but no Assault Cannon. Yep. And then that one is the same. So there's two, two with power sword and assault cannon, one with the cyclone missile launcher and an assault squad. Yep. Okay, so what about this one? We've got an interrogate chaplain. Yes. It's very cool, very cool. It's a metal one as well. Very it is. heavy. One of the older ones. Mm. Uh, he's got a called ancient, ancient with yeah. Deathwing Ancient. With a beautiful free hand there. Yeah. Uh, supported by another Terminator squad, again with a cyclone missile launcher, yep. power cool. sword and the sergeant. And then they are two venerable dreadnoughts. I know only one of them is, but yep. both beam runners venerable dreadnoughts. Today. Very cool. So one with a plasma cannon and a missile launcher. A little bit of a gunboat there. Yep. yep. And then one with the assault cannon and the storm ball fist. Yep. So these have a BS of two plus, yep. and also because they're venerable, they ignore wounds on a six. Nice. This is very good. Very good. Cool. So that is what Elliot's using. Two thousand points of Deathwing. Uh, so let's have a look at the Dark Eldar. Okay, guys. This is two thousand points of Drakari or Dark Eldar or Dark Eldari. I don't know, some rubbish, some rubbish that I've got no idea about. It's made up of two detachments, we've got a vanguard and a battalion. Uh, in the vanguard, uh, we have the succubus with splinter pistol. Uh, elites, we have hecatrice, the witches essentially. Uh, seven, razor flail, agonizer, and splinter pistols, and siren. Um, and we have eight incubi, uh, all with the glaive. Uh, Cablite trueborn, unit of five, with two dark lancers. And then we have a dedicated transport of a Raider with a Dark Lance and a Venom with Splinter Rifle and Twin Splinter Rifle. Then a Battalion, which is over here, we've got two HQs. We have uh, the Archon uh, with Hook's Blade and Splinter Pistol. And we have Lilith, our stock. And then we have three units of Cabalite Warriors, all with a uh, Blaster. And then Reavers, we have two Grav Talons in this unit. Um, and a blast and two blasters and then the, the other one is the same two grav tunnels two blasters and then a razor wing jet fighter with two dark lancers and a splinter cannon and then dedicated transports you have a raider with a dark lance and then three venoms uh, splinter with cannon splinter cannon so they are the armies and um, yeah you're gonna win because i've got witches I thought witches are good. Nah. Nah, witches is terrible. In I've the right hands, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have a very static armor. You do. You have a very. I've never used. I've never armor. used this army. I'm just gonna put this down and just admit that I'm a traitor. <laughs> so you have two Chaos Space Marine battle rifles. <laughs> I'm playing Codex Dark Angels. Codex Dark Angels. So yeah. So um, have you got a battle plan? Yeah. What's your battle plan? Tell me about it. I'm gonna run Terminators around the board. <laughs> and they're gonna get slowly point you're just gonna do like a mongol ring around me and poison them all to death no but in all seriousness you have got a lot of deep tracking units so if mm. you get the first 10 charges off you're probably gonna be laughing because then i can't do anything about it i get to overwatch Woo! but once you once you're in there with your power fist hitting the radar you're just like but there is a that flyer is. there is a flyer there is a jet fire that's my dreadnought's gonna have to do some lifting. dreadnought's gonna have to do some lifting all right, guys. So uh, yeah, let's get into the, let's have a look at the game. Okay guys, that was deployment. Um, obviously we are playing, oh, what's it called, Vanguard Strike? Yeah. Yeah, so, corners, 24 inches apart in the middle. Maelstrom of War, uh, Spoils of War. So we're playing three cards. Um, if, you, we, if you hold a card that has, secure. Hmm? Secure objective. Yeah, yeah, if you've got secure objective, let's say five, um, you can't discard that card and the opponent can take it from you. I've kind of deployed very aggressively, everything is the front. I reckon Elliot, is, if he gets first turn, I probably didn't really think about this. Look at all these deep strike landing zones you've got. You've got here, you've got probably here, and you've got the front line, obviously. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we've got objective... I don't... Where's objective one? We have objective one by the crates. Objective two, top corner uh, near that building in Elliot's deployment zone. I'm just catching wires on the model, so excuse me a moment. Um, objective three is here by the Venom. Objective four is right in the middle of all the terrain. Five, just outside my deployment zone. And then six by those crates over there. So, Elliot, you finish setting up first because you have five units in reserve. And then five units on the board. Okay, would you like to go first? Okay. We're going to roll for it then. So we are playing chapter approved. So because Elliot uh, deployed first, we get to roll off. Whoever rolls highest uh, gets first turn. Elliot gets plus one. So here he goes. So I roll a one. So Elliot can't lose this roll. Okay. So Elliot, you roll to see who goes first. Would you like it? I would like to go first. Okay. I am going to try to seize. So these guys have got a bit of a rep, haven't they? Because they seem... They, they always seem to seize. But I am rolling it with my left hand, which is like... I'm trying to shake it. It just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to try and seize. And the six. It's the three. It's the three. So I'm going to command point it. So I've got a vanguard and a battalion, so I do have seven command points to start. So I'm down to six. Here he goes. Oh, it's a four. It's a four. All right, Elliot. Good luck, my friend. Okay, Elliot's turn one coming up. So the three cards Elliot has drawn is Blood and Guts. Kill some units in the combat phase. Yeah. Confident? Mm, could do. Could do. Airy Denial, which is basically, yeah, I'm not in the middle of the board. No. First turn. Very good card to draw in the first turn. And then Secure Objective 1. Obviously, we should have done this before movement, but Dan has already... Uh, yeah. Elliot has already deep striked onto Objective 1. It's a bit of a waste of my Ancient, but I figured it would have been more of a waste of an interrogated chat though. It's a free VP. Yeah. Okay, so...
Okay guys, that was a movement phase. Elliot has left his interrogator chaplain and the assault squad in reserve. However, two Terminator uh, squads have deep struck into my deployment zones. Again, as I mentioned when I finished deploying that I was thinking, bugger, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I do forget about deep strike armies. Um, so you've got one um, Terminator squad there with the assault cannon, one there with the assault cannon, and then obviously the chapter ancient has deep struck onto objective one. Uh, the two, this kind of blob is kind of just trundled forward into range, really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, um, no psychic phase. Nope. Um, so, shooting phase. Shooting phase. Uh, let's see what Elliot can do. So the cyclone, uh, cyclone missile launcher split off and shot the um, uh, vent <laughs> running with the true born. Uh, two wounds, two five plus in ones. Both failed. How much damage is it? D6. 2d6 damage. We've only got six wounds. Seven. Does it blow up? It does not. Do you want to command point it? Nah, nah, I'm oh, alright. Okay. Um, yeah, five guys inside. Any ones they die? Nope, they're all alive. Okay, so that was only the unit true bone in. So there's two like uh, dark lancers in there, and they've just jumped out. Hopefully, out of line of sight and most of that there. Cool. That is the end of the shooting phase. Elliot did get first strike for killing a venom. Uh, so the true bone are going to need a morale check. Um, well, actually, no, not yet, because the early chip nine, the early fail on a seven currently. Um, that venom over there is down to one wound. Uh, the Reavers lost a couple of wounds. They lost a couple of wounds. So that is the end of shooting phase. Yep. Elliot, would you like to do some charges? I would love to do some charges. So who's charging first? This one? What are they charging? Charges Raiders. So let's do some Overwatch. So the Darklands missed. Elliot, you've got a nine-inch charge. I want to roll it here. There he goes. It's a nine, so okay, so they're going to go into there. Any more charges? Yeah, I'm going to do that one over there as well. So what are they going into? In that other raider. So okay. the other raider, so another, another dark lance, he goes. So one, never mind. Go for it, nine inch. Oh, it's a six and a one. You can use a command point. Go for it. You need a three. Oh, eight inches. Never mind, failed charge over there. So let's move these in and see what they can do. Alphys, hitting on yep. hitting on fours because you might want to hit. Cool, not bad. So now we're in on threes. Nice. So that ignores my save because I only have a four plus save. It's minus three. Uh, so D three damage. Watch your hand. One, two, uh, five, eight wounds with the power fist. Then the, the power sword. Yep. Hitting on threes this time. Two hits, five to wound. <laughs> it's one wound, it leaves the raider on one wound. So we get to attack back. So the raider on one wound has one attack, hitting on force. And it failed, cool. So that is the end of the combat phase. Elliot, did you score any cards? And you didn't, did you? Yeah. With bullet, well you, did, you didn't, well, you got a couple. You didn't go blood and guts, it's a shame, it's a shame. So it's called Secure Objective 1. Secure Objective 1. And Area Denial. Area Denial, nice. Cool. And so, keep hold. Yeah, I think you're probably going to kill something in the, in the combat phase next. So that is the end of uh, Elliot's turn. Let's draw my three cards. Okay, so the three objectives I've drawn are Defend Objective 2. So I have to hold this objective for two turns. And then this Mission Critical Objective. So you roll a d6, which I rolled a 1. Uh, score 1 VP if you control the objective marker and it should. If you control the objective marker, if the corresponding objective marker was controlled by your opponent and now you control it, you get D3. And objective marker 1 is that one on the chapter Ancient, so this is, could be quite cheeky. And then secure objective 5, which is right in the middle, so that's going to be an easy one to get. So a bit of moving to do, um, but basically I need to kill that um, and jump on that objective, jump on that objective and then see how far I can get towards that one.
Cool, so that's the end of my movement phase. So we'll start from this side. Uh, the incubi just jumped out of that radar, staring at these. They don't like the look of them, they're a bit too close to home. Uh, these venoms have kind of jumped up in range. Uh, one of the Dark Lancers moved because this one couldn't see anything, so kind of pulled around this side. Uh, the Reavers have jumped onto this objective. The Razor Wing has jumped to that objective. Uh, jumped, just jumped forward because it has to move 20 inches, sorry. Um, this Venom kind of jumped over and is holding that objective, well, it's contesting the objective. Um, so I basically need to kill the Ancient um, to get D3 points. Um, this Raider unloaded with the Witches, Lilith and the uh, Succubus. We then jumped over the top so it can shoot its Dark one still. It's only got one wound left, so it's only hitting on like fives or something like that. Uh, but still, having extra shot is going to be handy. These Reavers advanced. It's got 22 inches, so they've just jumped out of the way because then they're going to go for objective two, which is over there. So because they've got quite a fast move, I thought I'll pull them over here, give him a threat over there. So he's got to deal with that so these guys can jump onto that objective there. Uh, so that is the end of the move phase, so let's look at shooting. So guys, I haven't been doing much filming because I've just been trying to kill this bloody ancient. Uh, I did five wounds against the Venerable Dreadnought from the two Dark Lancers on the uh, flyer. That Ancient is tanking everything, so he's on two wounds. So, I'm going to shoot these two Dark Lancers into him. Here he goes. One hasn't moved. Threes. Misses. One has moved. Fours. Hits. No. Twos. It's a one! <laughs> <laughs> this Raider. Yes. This Raider. I don't know what it hits on. I'll find out. It's probably a hit. Let me check. Moved. Um, I'm going to have to shoot these Reavers at him. I need to get those two VPs. So the poison shot from the Reavers has done one wound to the uh, Ancient. So now two blasters hitting on threes. Both hit. Wounding on twos. So both wound. Two five up in runs or two D3 damage. <sighs> it's D3 damage. Take one wound. He's dead. He's dead. First strike. <laughs> cool. Let's do the rest of the shooting. Last shot, they get, last shot of the turn. This Raider is going to shoot this Venerable Dreadnought. Cheeky bagger Chris. Hitting on threes. So I'm not moved. There's a one. Terrible turn. Okay, so that is the end of my turn. Uh, end shooting turn. So now we've got combat. I'm going to charge those into there. And I'm going to charge those into there with the succubus and the thing. And the archons there as well. I'm going to kill those terminators in combat. Let's go. Cool, so the witches are going to attack first. They get three attacks each because of combat drugs. So hitting on threes, re rolling ones because of the succubus. Not too bad. Extra two hits, sorry, because uh, they do get an extra attack because of the sword and then the combat drugs get an extra attack. So actually, four each. So this is wounding on fives. Wounding on fives. It's a few still. Quite a few. Uh, three, six, eight saves. There you go. So what? Two saves, yeah. The Katari blade is. Yeah. Just chainsaws, essentially. Make it. Make it. Oh, I take a wound. A Lilith is going to attack. Uh, she's going to use the main of barbs and hooks. Uh, so she's going to get five attacks because she gets four base plus one because of the weapon. Hitting on uh, twos. Rerolling. I'll uh, oh, reroll that one as well. All hit. Uh, strength three, uh, minus four, one damage. The five to wound. Nothing. <laughs> and then the succubus gets four attacks. Um, and so uh, she is strength five minus three one damage but minus one to hit to hit so hitting on three rolling ones all hit threes to wound so two wounds at minus three so two in runs it's one damage each mm -hmm. both, both, fail. both fail so that is this guy dead yeah and who's going to take the next wound uh, if there's one that's just going to Okay, so that guy there. Well, either way. Yeah, that one there. Okay, so that is all my attacks, so you get to attack back. Yeah. So the sergeant is going to hit the succubus, so from there yeah. to there, because he's in base contact. So, hitting on three to the power sword. Two hits. Wounded on three, so I'm only toughness three. Oh. No wounds. So two chain fists, not power fists. There's yeah. two chain fists, two power fists, but the power fist has died now. But never mind. So, yeah. force, this is against just the normal unit. Yep, yeah. force to hit because minus one. One hit. Yeah. Twos. One wound. One th four plus in one is one dead. Kill that one there. What's next? Uh, power fist die. Yep, yeah. so same again. 
Nice. Missed. Cool. That's the end of the combat. Let's do the next one. Okay, so the incubi uh, get three attacks each. The sergeant gets four. Move those out of the way. Um, using the glaive, which is makes him strength four, minus three, one damage. So it's threes to hit. Uh, so threes to hit, falls to wound. Um, any sixes become three damage. Uh, it's, so falls to wound, strength four. Ooh, cheeky. So two in ones. Well, that'll be two dead. Two in ones. Pass one. one. one dead. So one dead. And then three more in ones, which will be one damage each. Three more in ones. Three runs, but it's one damage each. Uh, Another one dead. One dead yeah. Cool, so two guys dead. Which one do you like to kill? From the power fist or chain fist? Uh, or the chain fist, anyway. Or it's a yeah, soul it fist. Okay. And then the Archon strikes. So now the Archon strikes with five attacks. He has a husk blade. Hits on twos. All hit. Um, husk blade makes him strength three, minus two d3 damage. So five to wound. Then we get four wounds. So four invulnerable saves, please. How many did you pass? Just one. Yep. So three go through. So three D3. First one. So one wound. Which I'm going to command point. Command point. Three wounds, so one dead. Second one. Oh, it's one wound again. Remove all these dice. So with this the one get takes one wound, and the last one takes another one wound. So it's another guy dead. So one of those dead. Okay. So that is me finished attacking. So obviously we've done this in slightly different order, but it's going to be this sergeant attacking the unit now. So do you want to go through with that? So yeah. three attacks. Are you hitting the unit or the, the Archon? So three attacks from the sergeant. One hit. Oh, two hits, sorry. Wounding on threes. Both wounds. Two six up saves because it's minus three. Whoop. Two dead. Cool. So now it's morale phase. Uh, Deathwing of Fearless, so nobody cares. Uh, Incubi, I've lost quite a few. Probably alright with a cocked dice. So <laughs> five. So the witches have lost four, so we need four or less. And we're fine. So that is the morale phase done. Card wise, uh, mission critical objective, I score D3 points because I killed the character who was holding it. So I have three points for that, which is good. That's giving me a good lead. Uh, I don't secure objective two, um, and I, I do secure objective five, which is the one in the middle. So that puts me on four points with first strike. Good start, good first turn. Kind of locked everything in, so these guys aren't going to be able to run out of combat without the, re the roll in because of the razor flails. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my turn. So now it is Elliot's turn two. So the three cards Elliot has was Blood and Guts from the last turn to kill something in combat. Advance, score on which point if there's no um, nothing in your deployment zone, which is going to be quite tough and big game hunter kill something with high wound characteristics like the raider on one. Let's see what it can do. Cool, so not much has moved. Basically, Elliot has deep struck these guys feel like some heroic music is about to come on. They do not like the look of those incubi. So they have deep struck in the corner, uh, but everything else is still still, isn't it, really? Yeah, pretty much. So, shooting phase, let's see what you can do. Cool, so the three Terminator, uh, the Terminators have shot into the Reavers and killed a couple, uh, and then the missile launchers have just done 10 wounds to the Razor Wing Jet Fighter. So does it blow up? It probably doesn't hurt anything, but it does not, it's dead. Firing plasma gun, plasma cannon into these. So 2D free shots. Five shots, hitting on twos, me rolling. Five hits, twos to wound. Three wounds, how much damage is it? Is it one? One, okay, so three, six ups of feeling of pains. <gasps> two dead, boom. Two dartlings is gone. And then the missiles are gonna go into that. So one shot. 
Two's to hit. Be rolling. One hit. Strength eight, so three's to wound. Five up in one. It's passed. Okay, that's the end of the assault phase. Obviously, the Dreadnoughts and the Terminators absolutely blew up the Razor Wing. They shot the Reavers. They killed the Trueborn. Um, so, yeah, quite a good shooting phase compared to the last one. So, charge phase now. What's going to charge? Yeah, that venerable. Charge this guy. Okay, let me do the Overwatch. So, the Blaster hit and did a wound, which is kind of good. Uh, you could have re-rolled it for a three, but I thought maybe not. Uh, so, charge range is like four inches, something like that. It's just under four. So it's going to be a three. It's going to be a three. Oh, it's got! Roll it, re-roll it. He's five, he's in. Cool, any more charges? Yes. Here? It's fine, he's on two. These guys, nine inch charge with the Terminators. Here he goes. Have faith in the lion. It's not a nine. You can't make it. Can't make it, never mind. So let's go into combat. Cool, so the Dreadnought is on two wounds, but does have not have a degrading profile. It's got four attacks. Hitting on. Twos. Uh, you're out of range of reroll, so it is only three hits. Wounding on twos. Twos. Oh, look at that. He takes 3d6 damage. No, straight three, nine. Straight three. So he takes nine. He only had one. Yep. So do a blow up. Dice. Dice. Blow up. Ah. Come on, point. Ah. Never mind. The guy's inside can jump out. So these guys have disembarked. <laughs> Would you like to consolidate into him, Elliot? Would yes. you like to consolidate into him? Go for it. You get to consolidate three inches towards him. Oh, look, you're not in combat, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> cool, so now that is all your charging units, so now it's now my first unit. So let's see what we can do with these witches, I think. So uh, the succubus is going to strike next. Uh, he has four attacks, hitting on threes, because I get a minus. Uh, so all hit, which is good. Strength five, because you get plus two. Uh, yeah, plus two, minus three. Uh, two wounds. <laughs> two wounds, two wounds, mate. Normal set. Two in here. Yeah, two in ones here. Five ups. Nope. Ooh. Two wounds, so that one dies. Who's going to take the next wound? This guy. That guy. Cool. Would you like to interrupt or shall I carry on? Mm. How many command points you got left? Use three. Oh, I can't interrupt for charge wise. No, sure. You, you, yeah. you can use two to interrupt. No, no. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just being daft. It is now Elliot's turn because it's not charging units. Mm. Okay, so, so what unit would you like to use next? The power sword or that unit there? What's the last to go in there? The witches and Lilith. I feel like I need to try and do some damage with him. Yeah, before you go for it. So the three power sword attacks into the incubi. Yep. Uh, two hits. Threes. One wound, six up save. Ah, oh, you oh. made it, you made it. Cool, so then I'm going to attack with the witches next. So the normal swords, the blades, which give plus ones, have got four attacks each, hitting on threes, re-rolling. Uh, re-rolling ones actually, so two's miss. And then fives to wound. One wound, one's a normal save. Ooh, he passes. And then the um, razor flail. Razor flail is, gets an extra attack. Reroll all failed hits. So four attacks again. We will to hit. So four hits. Razor flail is strength user minus one, so fives. Uh, one at minus one. So one three up save, dude. <laughs> Passed. <laughs> oh, so now the Terminators hit back. Here yes. we go. Chain fist. Chain fist hitting on threes, fours, two hits, twos. One wound, uh, one four plus in one, and uh, fails, one dead. What's next? My Sergeant, turn. three attacks, hitting on threes. Whoop, three hits. Wounded on threes, again. threes, yeah. Two wounds, two four plus in ones. Both passed. So Lilith goes next. Five attacks again, uh, strength user minus four. Hitting on twos, re-rolling. Re-rolling. All hit. Uh, fives, nothing, terrible, cool, so that is the, all the, oh no, the incubi, incubi go next, let's go, threes, wound on threes, any six to become two damage, 
Ooh, one in one at two damage. At uh, three damage, sorry. Uh, He's dead. So that is the unit gone. So that is the end of the turn. No morale checks, but Elliot does score blood and guts uh, for killing the venom in combat, and big game hunter for killing the razor wing in sheer fashion. Let's call it. <laughs> it was very good. So that is the end of uh, Elliot's turn. So look at my cards. We've got defend objective two, which I don't have currently. We have area denial. Get him out of the middle of the board. I think we'll be fine. He's nowhere near. He's nowhere near. He likes corners. And domination. Score three, D3 plus 3 if you control every objective marker on the battlefield at the end of your turn. It's not impossible. It's, it is doable. Let's see if we can do it right now. It's so salty already. So that's the end of the movement phase. Everything's jumped around. Uh, I haven't been able to really get the objectives because I did fail to advance over there. Um, so it is now my shooting phase. Let's let's oh, chuck that dart lance into that dreadnought. <laughs> so dart lance, it didn't move. I just knocked it into that dreadnought, hitting on fives. <laughs> Worth a try. Um, blaster into that dreadnought, and then all the other guys into the Terminator squad. So blaster hit on threes, hits, threes, command point, wounds, so D3 damage, one wound, one six up, feel no pain, roll that, roll that, he's on one, well, let's see what else we can do, blaster into there, threes, <sighs> the rest of the unit's going to go into them. Blaster into him. Dart lance into that one. <laughs> okay. Threes. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm running out of stuff. Two blasters. <laughs> oh, they, uh, they can't see anything. Ah. Ah, God. I've dropped everything. What can they see? Okay, so the, the two blasters into there, then I'll do the poison shots off camera. So two blasters, hitting on threes, one hit. Yep. Twos, one in one. Failed, so D3 damage, one dead. Doing that back unit. Um, so yeah, that is the big gun, so I'll do all the poison shots now. Okay, that is the end of the shooting phase, and guess what? I did like two wounds to the Terminators. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Two wounds to the Dreadnought. So, charge phase. I'm going to charge that unit into the Dreadnought because it's on one wound. Would you like to overwatch? Yes. Go for it. So, four Storm Bolters or the Assault Cannon. What are you doing first? Do yeah, you can. Oh. Which one first? What are you Storm doing? Storm Bolter. Storm Bolter. There you go. Misses. Can I re no, no too far away. Too far away. Oh, God. <laughs> Two's to wound. Three wounds. Um, four up save clicks, minus one, but then plus one because I'm in cover. Power for Bane. Six. Nope, one dead. Charge range. Ah, I'm in. Um, next, next charges this Reaver into the back Terminator squad. So Terminator squad overwatches. Yep. So nothing happened even with the rerolls. Charge range. I get seven. Cool, so I'm going balls deep. Four attacks for the against the venerable. Hitting on threes. Oh, twos. Six is to wound. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I needed. Would you like to interrupt or shall I carry on going? Carry on. Okay, so Reavers are going to go next. So the Reavers go next. The Graph Talons come into effect. Every model that finishes in base contact on a four plus, you take a mortal wound. Three. So, um, so I killed uh, two, because one was on one wound, and then another two wounds. So the blade veins are strength four, minus one, one damage. Hitting on threes. Wounded on fours. So two wounds, mate. Two three up saves. Passed, failed one, so one wound. Uh, so now it's now my next, ch my first unit that hasn't charged. Because uh, that's all the charging units done. Always like to interrupt. Cool, so let's do 
the succubus. So the succubus gets five attacks, uh, hitting on twos, are you rolling? Sorry, minus twos, but minus one. And then um, strength five, so three to wound. So this is minus uh, minus three, so it's in runs and it's one damage. So three wounds made at minus. Yeah, yeah, at these guys. So three in runs, yep. So three wounds, so one dies. Would you like to kill the assault cannon or the sergeant? It's all falling apart. Would you like to interrupt or shall I carry on? Do I need to interrupt anyone? Well, I reckon if I carry on, she's going to jump. She can't reach, she's too far away. Should you not have attacked with them first? They attacked first and missed. Did they just Yeah. So these guys are going to pile in. They could kill you. Uh, probably unlikely because they are blue witches. Well, that was your first choice. It is your next. I keep. Ah, oh, I don't know how combat works. It's your first choice. <laughs> Go, so it's your next unit, what would you like to strike with? She, you've just told me she's going to hit me, haven't you? The witches are going to hit you, yeah. So I'm going to pile into the witches. Okay. But you, you can pile into there? Yep. Okay, so your three attacks. One hit. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible battle reporter. <laughs> I'm having a very... failed. He's done that like two turns in a row. Yep, so my attack's back. Two witches with four attacks each. Hitting on three, so we're rolling ones. Wounded on fives. So two wounds, two saves. And you're fine. Cool, your next unit. Yep, do you want to do the sergeant first? Yep. Three attacks hitting on threes. One wound, eh, one miss, sorry. Uh, toughness falls, so falls to wound. Minus three, so ignores my save, so just pile from pain. Uh, two wounds, so one dead. Just one damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the power fist. Uh, two attacks. Yeah, hitting on fours, fours re rolling misses because of Belial. You're in range, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. it's ranged. It's six inches, you'll be in. So we'll do that and then we'll do an extra power sword that missed. Yeah. So that is two wounds. So D3 damage. So two D3 damage. We're all the first one. One wound, so six up. Failed, so one's on one wound. Now the next D3 damage. One wound, so six up. Fails, so that's another bike dead. Okay, so then you've got your one power sword that missed. Reroll to hit. I can't see it. It's a five, yeah. Go for it. Uh, falls, yeah. Whoop. Wounds. So six up power from pain. Nope, so one wound. Cool, so the bike's on one wound. So they are going to survive, which does stop you missile launcher shooting, which is good. Yeah. That was the plan. Okay, so next combat, Dreadnought. Yeah. Go for it. Four attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. No. Killing on twos. Three wounds. Yeah. Um, how much damage is it? Three. Yeah, three. First one. Dead. Second one. Dead. Triple six. Dead. So Lilith caused a wound there. Um, so morale check now. Obviously you're fearless. The Reavers have lost two. So they're fine with the one. The Witches have lost none because you've whiffed. Uh, the, the Incubi, uh, not the Incubi. The uh, Warriors have lost four, three. They're fine. So that is the end of my turn. Do I score? I have Defend Objective 2, which I still don't have, so probably not. Area Denial, I do score one point four, And Domination, I don't have yet. So that is the end of my turn. It is now Elliot's turn three. So Elliot's three cards are Advance, uh, Get Out of the Deployment, Secure Objective 1, which is being held currently by that warrior, because it's an Objective Secured Warrior, and Secure Objective 6, which is over the other side of there. Okay, so Elliot hasn't actually moved. Nope. So now it's his shooting phase. Yes. What are you going to do first? I'm going to walk now. At? I think he needs to fire off in the back. 
Oh, that radar. Okay. The incubi. Yeah. Cool, go for it. So 2D3 from the plasma. Are you overcharging? I've rolled it now. Oh no, I still got a roll to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay, so uh, five shots. Two damage. Five shots, yeah. Hitting on twos, re rolling. Roll the one, re roll it. Don't roll another one. Ooh, all hit. Strength eight, so three to wound. Three wounds? Three wounds. Uh, so five up in one. Oh, he made them all. <laughs> cool, missile launcher. Two to hit. Hit. Uh, threes. Threes. Five up. Failed. D6 damage. So they got ten. Only got ten. It takes five. He's got five left. He's got five left. <laughs> What's next? So I'll fire these guys. Yeah, what are they going to shoot at? So they're going to fire, I think the Storm Alters. We'll fire it. Oh, oh, which one? Uh, this one. Yeah, okay, you are minus one to hit. And the missile launcher? Missile launcher's going to yeah. fire. At the radar. Okay, let's do a lot of camera. So the missile launcher first shot, should have done it on camera. Seven wounds. So does it blow up? Nope. Uh, four in Kibai. Told you. Come on point. I prophesized it. One one Incubi is dead. Uh, sorry, and the the Archon is fine. So one Incubi dead. So the Incubi jumped out there. Uh, the Venom took two wounds from the Storm Bolters. So any charges, sir? Okay, yeah. you can choose the first unit to fight with then. Um, no, in fact, yeah, I'll charge. Oh. You know, with these, these guys. Into, there. into the reader. Okay, go for it. Cool, seven inch. Cool. So the back unit, there's only three guys I actually reach because they're in base contact of the one that's in base contact with the reaver. So what's first? Um, power fist. Okay, so falls to hit. Nice, one missed. Twos. Cool, uh, so 3d3 damage. Nope, no save. <laughs> so 3, 6, 8, can I have another 5 dice? Five. Yeah, I'm on one wound. I need 6s, he's dead. <laughs> so that reaver is gone. So then, your choice first. Choices, choices. You're gonna do that, go for it. So 4 attacks against the warrior, miss! Two hits. Don't flu. Don't fluff it now. Twos. So two. Uh, so six wounds against that one warrior. Sixes. You're dead. So now it's my next unit. And the succubus is going to go. And we're finally going to kill it. Five attacks hitting on threes. Re rolling ones. Um, fives. Nothing. Your next unit. Power sword is actually going to hit me back. Never mind. Go for it. Freeze. Two hits. Freeze. One wound. One four pin one. Uh, it's a three. One dead. Yeah, did something at the end. Uh, witch is dead. So then Lilith attacks with the five attacks. Hitting on twos. We rolling. All hit. We did on fives. Uh, three wounds at minus three. So three in ones. One damage. Fail one. You're dead. Finally, oh, he's dead. Oh yeah, yep. go for it. Five. Oh god, <laughs> he's fucking done it. He's only gone and done it. Yeah. Okay. So then the witches are going to attack. So I've got four attacks with the chain sword essentially. The uh, only ones. One wound. One two up. No three up. It's minus one. Oh god. And then the flail, we only misses. One wound at minus one. Three up. Yeah. Oh God, no, yes. no, <laughs> no, please. 
I think that's all the combat. Okay. Uh, it's ending your turn, my turn three. Let's go. Elliot did get secure objective one for that over there. Um, so he's on how many points? Three? Four? Okay. Uh, defend objective two for me, domination, but I've just drawn hold the line, so I don't think I'm going to get that. I think we are going to have to call it last turn because of time constraints, sadly. I do apologise. We'll try and make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, but yeah, this is my turn three in the last turn. So I do apologise, the recording messed up, so I just recorded kind of like where everything went. So the Venoms have jumped over, and uh, can you tell me how character rules work? No? Got nothing? I'm going to kill Belial with those two, basically. Okay. The Incubi have run around there to get into the Venial Dreadnought. The Raider, who has got one wound left, is going to kill that Dreadnought single-handedly, even though he's on ten wounds, or eight wounds. <laughs> the Reavers have jumped around and finally started to defend Objective 2. So it's my shooting phase. Raider. Hitting on sixes against a Dreadnought. <sighs> Command point. Command point. Sixes. Ah, oh, God, I saw it. I saw it. I hate that. Two blasters at Belial from the Venoms. Two hits. Uh, twos. Two in ones, mate. Oh, it's 2d3 two two damage. Fucking four wounds, mate. It's four wounds. How many has he got? Five or six? Sure. We'll have a look. Oh, yeah, Tenacious Survivor. So four wounds. Still four wounds. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then we'll do poison off camera. Yeah, so so shooting phase. Um, Blasters did four wounds. Uh, he has six wounds. The poison did one wound. So Belial is on one. So I cannot miss this opportunity of charging to combat. Do you have any guns? No. Nope. Grenades? Throw one. Throw it, see if you can, just throw, roll the dice, it crack. Reroll it, because you, you're Belial. Hit. Hit. Uh, to fours to wound. Threes to wound, because it's for six. Nothing. Cool. So he's going to charge in, two inches, and then the other one, it gets a one and six. It's definitely in. <laughs> cool, so four attacks. Yeah. They hit on fours. Oh, they However, hit on no, they hit on fours. However, Belial, tell me about him. He's got his parrying blade rule. Parrying blade. Subtract one. one to hit. So I'm hitting on fives. I get two hits. Are you doing all of them yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wounding. I'm strength. Strength five. Wounding on threes. It's two, two wounds. It is minus one. Elliot, can you make two three-up saves? No, he can't! The Lyle is dead! It's a command point. Have you got any left? No, but I do have my 6 plus feel no pain. You do have your 6 plus feel no pain? No, no but Lyle is dead! That is Warlord killed to the Drakari. Brilliant, brilliant. So then he is going to consolidate into the Dreadnought. Cool. And I'm consolidated. Um, pretty much, we've got this combat. We've got this combat to do. So it's my first non charging unit. <laughs> it's my first non-charging unit, I'm going to keep I'm saying wound. it. No you don't, it's my first non-charging unit. So Succubus, re-rolling ones, um, threes, three in ones, three saves, and he's dead. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. So, uh, obviously this unit is stuck in the corner and not, has done nothing. Basically just deep struck. It's got your line breaker to be fair, yeah. Uh, we, as I said, we're going to have to call it here. It is the end of turn three. I scored Mission Critical Objective, which got me three points. I got Area Denial, which got me one point. I got Secure Objective 5, which got me one point. Elliot, how many Maelstrom cards did you get? I got Secure Objective oh, 1. Oh, look at that. Secure Objective 1. Big Game Hunter. Big Game Hunter. Blood and Guts. Blood and Guts. Secure Objective 1 again. Secure Objective 1 again. Area Denial. Area Denial. So that's 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Okay. So you obviously have a Line Breaker, but I also have a Line Breaker. Yes. Ooh, that is 6-6. Six, six. I killed your warlord with venoms. You did. I did. That puts me on seven six. Yeah. Seven six. Is that the end of the score? No. Oh. I got first strike. Elliot got first strike. You killed the venom. I did. Very cheeky. Very cheeky. So that is a seven seven draw. How about that? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the game, Elliot. Yeah. Let's have a quick outro. So a very gash outro because we are just about to go live with Shadespire. Yes. Um, obviously this is last week probably or maybe the week before. Um, but yeah. So, Elliot, how mm. did you find the Deathwing? 
interesting, a bit different to what I usually play. Actually, mm. it was quite it was quite nice. They could all just sort of stand in one corner with Belial and yep. just output. Stormbolt is really good. Yeah, it's again, you know, characters in this edition, you get the re-roll to hit, you yeah. sometimes you get the re-roll to wound. He was pretty pretty crucial. <laughs> yeah, it just makes everything really good. Especially seeing as normally he only does re-roll ones for Dark Angels, but because it's all Deathwing and he's the first yeah. first captain, you re-roll all because yeah. it's all Deathwing. So, and they're very resilient. The big thing is I've got lots of Dark Lancers and I whiff that first turn, yeah. which is a shame. Um, but also you've got lots of uh, two-up saves and I've got lots of poison shots, so I'm wounding you quite easily. But then I'm saving. But you've got a two-up save. Yeah. So you've got to basically, you've, I've got to roll fours, you've got to roll two. It's, two for both, it's satisfying for both of us. You do loads yeah. of wounds, I make loads of saves. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, I really enjoy the Dark Eldar. Um, yeah. Witches, they're all right. There's a reason they're not very good. Well, the people don't use them is because they're not very good. Yeah. Uh, Incubi were very cool. It's a shame the fine cast. Yeah. Mm, makes you not want to buy them. The Venoms were very cool uh, with all the poison shots. The Reavers were good. The Raiders were okay. I reckon Raiders with three. Yeah. The other one, I can't remember, the Ravager, Ravager with the three Dark Lancers. <laughs> Razorwing Jet Fighter I liked, but it's a shame that you killed him turn two, so I didn't really get to use it properly. So um, You needed to die, I needed a big game on to. You did. So that was the game, 7-7 seven, seven draw. Uh, apologies that it's been cut short. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we've done things again a little bit differently, so I hope you found that was okay. And it's not being cut short just because we're off like pizza or something. We are doing more stuff after we, this. We, we, we're live streamers, you know, we've got, we've got a schedule. We're already, we're, we're going on supposedly in 10 minutes. We're a bit so. late. I'm going to ram some dinner Shh, down don't, my throat. Don't tell them that we're late. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I've been Hellstone Mikey. I've been really bad at rolling ones. Yeah. <laughs> You've been fantastic, and hopefully, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. We'll catch you later.